tonight I want to share another one of my custom post-apocalyptic Mad Max model car custom. First, let me show you where this model originated from. And it's from a series of model cars by Revell called Nightcrawler series. In the dark, damp corners of the imagination comes a group of vehicles that cannot be tamed. They are called the Nightcrawlers. And if you see them coming down your street, you better run and hide. Quick. Oh, that just melts my Mad Max heart. So it was a lot of six of them that came out in 2005. However, they are not 124 scale, but 132. And here's the individual names of the six of them. The Serpent, the Stinger, the Widow, the Lizard, the Night Flyer, and the Rodent. And the Chevy is the Widow. I actually have this one still complete in the box. And I don't know what to do with it. It's got really cool bat decals to make maybe the uh, red RX from Road Warrior. Or I can make a Wraith replica of Packard Walsh's car from the Wraith. But in the meantime, let's go over this custom of mine. I'll go over some of my techniques real quick, but if you've ever seen any of my other videos, it's basically the same theme of how to achieve these looks. Let's start with underneath. I kept that very generic, just use some copper acrylic for a rust color. What are these? These are independent. They're not on a full axle, but they spin. And the exhaust, the side pipe is accurate, going right in the engine. Pretty cool. I left the original color that it was molded in, but I sprayed it lightly with, it looks like black enamel spray can, and used a dry brush with brown acrylic for the dirt. On these models, the, um, the hood doesn't come up, but I scratched it and took chunks out with a hobby knife. Then here in the front, I took a chunk out. The exhaust, I did the same thing. And almost every one of the wheel wells, I took some kind of chunk of material out. I painted this door entirely with gold to make it look like it was from another donor car. And the same with the right front fender. And it gold. And I'm using the same techniques here with a copper color and a brown color acrylic using dry brush to make it look like dirt and rust. You can see really small there, it says Bel Air. Super good molding on this. Scored it here, and I even took some big chunks out of the trunk lid. I took the driver's side brake light out entirely. The back windows, I just took a hobby knife and mashed it up a little bit and took chunks out. This, you can see a serial number on there. That, that's like the top spoiler. It's just a piece of the uh, model kit that I snapped off and glued on there. The interior, I think I left pretty much alone, but I did take some chunks out of the window area itself. Front window, just mash it all up again. Took it out completely from the driver. And the last part is this skull decal I drew. I just freehanded this, and I think the gold part is from a paint marker I had. Then I just outlined it with a Sharpie really quick, and it came out really cool. So thank you for watching this other custom Mad Max model video of mine, and have a good night. Thank you for Thank watching. You for Please watching. subscribe. 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 subscribe.